Hey, what's up everybody? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new channel and today was a video request for putting Android 12 onto a Razer Phone 2. Now this video is going to be about GSI ROMs. Next video, I believe Lineage OS 19.1 is out, so we'll be able to do that. But for now, we're going to go over flashing um, a GSI to the Razer Phone 2 because it finally freaking works. So anyway, what I have here is LEOS, which is a de-googled uh, security ROM. One of my favorites personally because it doesn't come with hardly anything and it uses barely any system resources. It's an amazing ROM. Um, so first thing that we got to do is we obviously need to get F2FS. We need to get our GSI ROM, which has to be ARM 64 BV. Um, actually, the BVS is specific to LEOS. But ARM 64, you need Trinity Kernel for the Razer Phone 2 and VB Metadata. I'm assuming you already know how to unlock your bootloader, OEM unlock, reboot to bootloader, make sure in device manager that your phone has Android bootloader interface driver associated with your Razer Phone 2, which you usually have to do manually, and then fast boot flashing unlock underscore critical and your bootloader's unlocked. Let it fully boot, then reboot to bootloader, and you're good to start the rest of the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is fast boot flash boot. You want to flash Trinity kernel. Second thing you want to do is fast boot disable verity, disable verification, flash VB meta, and flash VB. From there, you want to do fast boot erase system, then fast boot flash system. And you want to drag and drop your ROM. Now it's going to do this ROM specifically in four 500 megabyte chunks. Um, you, I have actually seen 750 megabyte chunks if you do USB C to USB C, but USB A to USB C is usually going to do um, 500 megabyte chunks. Why is it not started yet? Sometimes this happens, you just have to reboot the bootloader. I'm going to restart bootloader on the phone real quick. Oh, nope, it's going. I don't know why it took so long to start. Then again, this phone is running super hot because it's a Razer phone too. They do that. It is a Snapdragon 800 something. So it's a really good phone for the price. You can manage to steal one of these on eBay for a good price. The only big issue these have is they like to burn out their charge ports if you use uh, too high powered of a charge port. But like I said, there's literally one on eBay right now for 40 bucks. Like, these phones are great. This one is FRP locked. I can get around the FRPs on these very easily. Not a big deal. Um, you know, if somebody wants to buy this and then have me remove the FRP, just send it my way and then I'll send it to you. I've done it for people before. But even then, Razer Phone 2, you can get them so cheap now. Like 40 bucks, 170, 190, 80, 110. That's overpriced. 140. Charge port's bad on that one. That's a little overpriced for a charge port problem. But even then, let's see what they've sold for. Yeah, they're going for super cheap, which is really cool. So, ROM is done flashing. Now we go to recovery mode, and we have TWRP thanks to Trinity Kernel. So once we are in TWRP, you want to uh, wipe the data partition because you have to format the data partition to the proper format. So it's going to say keep system read only. You want to swipe to allow modification, then wipe. Format data, type yes. Sorry, I don't have a camera angle on the physical phone. I don't have a way to put the camera above. But once the data is finished wiping, you want to go back, home button, do reboot, and then reboot recovery. Click do not install for the TWRP app. Then you want to do your ADB sideload. Sideload for F2FS because you have to change the format of the data partition or the GSI ROM will not boot. So from here, swipe again to allow modification, go advanced, ADB sideload, swipe to allow sideload, 
hit enter. This sends like immediately. Done. Here you want to hit the home button in TWRP again, do reboot, reboot recovery again, do not install. Then once that is done, once you're back in TWRP for now the 94th time, you want to go wipe data one more time. Wipe data S. And then you can hit reboot system. Do not install. And it will reboot into whatever custom ROM you wanted to use. So for me, this is going to boot into LEOS. I'll show you guys in a moment. It's a really nice ROM. It's one of my favorites. I have had issues with pretty much every other GSI I've tried. I tried the Graphene OS GSI, didn't work. I tried CR Droid, didn't work. Uh, this Xdroid PS wouldn't even let TWRP boot. I'm guessing it's because it's Android 12.1. Um, but what's strange is this is Android 12 as well, and it works. We'll get... Always bugging, potting, tools, screen recording, console. And as you can see, we are into LEOS. This is Android 12 something or other. It fingerprint reader and stuff does work. Start, and that's all LEOS is. You just want to enable the launcher, allow, and that's it. You're into Android 12. Show oh, you yeah. Android 12 on a two. See unofficial, enable developer settings, and we can also enable forced FPS. So that'll get you your 120 FPS back on the screen. Did you just go force FPS under miscellaneous features? And we're good to go. That's Android 12 GSI on a Razer Phone 2. Now, I'm going to keep trying different ROMs. So far, I have not had good luck at all. Omni wouldn't work. Xdroid didn't work. CR Droid didn't work. Resurrection Remix didn't work. Uh, Lineage would probably work. But next video, I'll go over actually flashing a custom ROM instead to these phones because there are custom ROMs now for these, which is really nice because there weren't for a very long time. But there is Lineage 19.1 officially for these phones, so I'll go over flashing that again. Um, there's Android 11 for these phones, which I don't know what would work better, 12 or 11? We'll have to find out and run some tests, but that'll be the next video or video after. Not sure. I want to try a couple different GSIs. Actually, quite a few different. I mean, there's a million of them I can try, so we just need it to be ARM64. A, B. All you need to worry about. If it's not that, then I don't think it's going to work. Um, real quick, I like Fun Touch OS. Where was that? I just saw it. This is Android 11. Is there a way to search for ARM64? I bet you there is. Let me try to find an ARM64 GSI and we will come back to this and I'll flash another ROM real quick just to show you guys that it really does work. I'm sick of trying to get other ROMs to work on this thing. I got Android 13 to boot, but it loops into safe mode. So, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> but this is, like I said, ROMs are very picky on these phones. I wish they worked. I really do. But they don't. Like, I'm literally looking at the power menu for Android 13. It just won't do anything. Let me see if even the screen recording works. Oh, now it's booting or looping again. Let me see what happens if it. Nothing. Failed connection. Yeah, that's what I did. It just sits here and loops. So, and it, this is actually the second ROM that's done this. But, 
PSI ROMs are possible to put on the Razer phone too. They just don't work very well. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Um, it's in safe mode. No, it's not. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.